Welcome everyone to Nutritional Living and today I will be sharing with you a very special fruit. A fruit so powerful in health properties that it is rewriting the book on what we know about healing foods. Exotic fruits such as acai and pomegranate, goji berry, noni, mangosteen, their sea berry, blueberry, cranberry, and even red grape, and others are in a new class of fruits called super fruits as they contain a myriad of nutrients including vitamins and minerals, carotenoids, phytosterols, essential acids, and amino acids, all of which plays an important role in promoting health and preventing disease. See, these superfruits are recognized as having exceptional antioxidant sources and some have active research for its anti-disease properties. Well, I was fortunate to be asked by Annie Ng, the president and founder of Novell International, to join her on a mission to Chile to learn and investigate a superfruit from the Patagonia region which has been traditionally used by the Mapuche Indians for a variety of ailments. With all the superfruits I just mentioned, only one, and I mean only one, stands so far ahead of the others that no other fruits will be able to claim themselves as a superfruit. What Annie Ng took me to see was a deeply purpled berry collected from the distant Patagonia region which stretches from central Chile to Antarctica and one of the cleanest places on this planet. But this amazing superfruit we're going to talk about today is called maki. Maki berries have been traditionally used by the Mapuche Indians for a variety of ailments such as sore throat, diarrhea, diarrhea, ulcers, hemorrhoids, birth delivery, even fevers, tumors, and I'm talking cancer tumors, and even other ailments. But the maki leaves have been used to treat diabetes, exhibit anti-inflammatory, pain relieving, and even antimicrobial effects. Now remember today I'm going to be talking about maki berry, not maca the root, but maki. This is a fruit. Now before we get into talking more about the maki berry, I want to give you a short powerful history of the Mapuche Indians because this plays into what we're talking about today. The Mapuche Indians are the only Indians in the American continent that are not conquered by any European countries. They have successfully resisted many attempts by the Inca Empire to conquer them. They fought against the Spaniards for over 300 years. The initial conquest of land by Spain in the late 16th century were repelled by the Mapuche so effectively that there were areas to which Europeans did not return until the late 19th century. Now, according to a document in the 16th century by the Spaniards, the Mapuche warriors eat very little solid food. Their main diet consists of liquid foods like soups, semi-fluid stews, and uh, chicha, a fermented beverage made from maki berry, which may have contributed to the extraordinary strength and stamina that the warriors exhibited. That extraordinary power leads us into the most powerful superfruit ever discovered, the maki berry. So powerful, in fact, that the acai berry industry is, in, is literally in an uproar because maki berries exhibited three times more antioxidant power and has a flavor so exquisite and delicious that I have to drink it every day because I love the flavor. It's highly nutritious to my body and with every glass I know my health gets better and better and I'm going to explain to you why. But one thing to remember as we age our cells continue to be affected by free radicals. Our organs begin to degenerate and aging accelerates. The body has built-in defense mechanisms to protect itself from free radical damage but eventually aging depletes the body's ability to keep oxidants at bay. But antioxidants contain an extra oxygen, oxygen molecule and are able to neutralize the free radical before it does any harm. Now our body produces natural antioxidants to combat oxidative stress and inflammation and the cell damage that results. However, the aging process and the various environmental and lifestyle stressors we face every day create more free radicals than our body can naturally fight off. 
Maki superberry is packed with antioxidants called anthocyanins and polyphenols. It also contains the highest ORAC value ever found among all berries, and there are many methods for measuring antioxidant level. One of the most common methods is called ORAC, which was developed by food nutrition researchers at Tufts University. And the ORAC test measures a food's antioxidant ability to neutralize free radicals and potentially mitigate health imbalances. Nutritionists recommend at least 12,000 ORACs per day. Most Americans only get three to 4,000 ORAC units or less per day through their diet as the Western diet is low in fruits and vegetables. Stay with me. We have more on this incredible.